This is the CMC Connect Volatility Report. Coca-Cola proved itself to be one of the most active stocks on Thursday, off the back of a curious announcement from Walmart. The retail giant noted that the impact of weight loss drugs like Ozempic was impacting consumer demand, especially for higher calorie pre-packed food and beverages. Walmart is seen as having a good degree of protection here, as they gain revenue from the sale of the drugs in the first place. But Coca-Cola fell almost 5% to new lows for the year. One day vol stood at 40.74% against 21.77% for the month. Wall Street seesawed through yesterday's session with the mainstream indices rejecting early losses and finishing the day broadly unchanged. There's some optimism creeping in ahead of today's payrolls report that is seen as having the potential to set the tone for where the Fed will take monetary policy next. A hotter than expected print here will therefore stand to unsettle sentiment. One day vol on the Russell 2000 small cap index printed 21.15% on the day and 16.1% on the month. The sell-off continued for oil on Thursday amidst concerns over supply, despite those thin inventory readings we've seen of late, along with news that OPEC Plus was to maintain production cuts. West Texas Intermediate is trading at levels not seen in around six weeks, with one-day vol standing at 43.7%, against 27.51% on the month. And it's a similar story for Brent crude, with one-day vol of 40.07%, against 24.81% for the month. And the Aussie dollar against the greenback continues its recovery from tests of lows not seen since last October, as those US Treasury yields fall back. Again, the NFPs today have the scope to direct sentiment here, but one day vol on the pair stood at 10.69%, against 9.77% for the month.